<laughs> hey, Andu again from Happy Life of Martial Arts. Why am I so happy? Because I'm back together with Mr. Stefan Kesting of GrappleArts.com and SelfDefenseTutorials.com. You may recall a year ago, uh, Stefan showed us some defenses from a rear naked choke. Uh, today I thought, if it's okay, I'd like to go over some defenses for a standing guillotine choke, probably the second most common choke you might see on the street. So, uh, Mr. Kesting, if you would, help me. How do I get out of a freaking standing guillotine? Well, there's always a before, during, and after phases of an escape, right? Yes. So prevention, it's so much easier to get out, to prevent a situation from happening and get out of it once it's applied. So, the biggest thing about not getting caught in one is not to be looking down at the floor. Even if I'm down here, if I'm looking up, it's, if I'm here, even if my head's in close, it's hard to guillotine me. Right. Right. And that allows me to set up the second part of it, which is escaping jury. But if I'm here, no problem. Easy to loop around. If I'm here, much harder. Yep. And if I'm also grip fighting, right. right? If I'm not giving you clear access to my head, that's number one. So prevention, prevention, prevention. This is why when people start doing wrestling badly, they come in like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and when people get better at wrestling, they lead with their face. Yeah, you're going to get your face smushed, but it's better than getting choked. Absolutely. Number two is the during. As we're here, and I see or feel this coming, I have to look to the sky. There's a little element almost of a hammer lock here. It's not going to tap you out. It's not going to hurt you. Right. But it's, this is a strong position. I mean, you do this all the time. Constantly. Me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Which way to the gun show? But well, you don't flex back here because this is a weak position. Right. <laughs> Maybe you, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah. What happens in your in the privacy <laughs> of your bathroom in front of your mirror? A little oil, a little music. It's nice. Moving right along. Yes, sir. So we're here. You're going for that. I look up. If I catch the timing on this right, I actually bypass the entire choke, and then I turn here, and now I'm in a great position as long as I don't leave my head out here to get elbowed. Right. My face is closed. Yep. I can lift. I can push away. Right. I can do whatever I like. I can go to the rear naked choke that I did last year. Right. Absolutely. The hardest one is when it's locked on. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, it's a terrible position. You're going to suffer. Honestly, if the guy's a very good guillotiner, and you're not a great grappler, you're probably going to get choked out. There are a couple of things you can do. So, number one, I'm going to try to protect here. I'm going to try and pull your wrist down because you're trying to remove space by pulling it up. So if I pull down here, that helps quite a bit. So anchor oh. yourself down there. I anchor and I pull down, and it's a, this is one of those times that I am going to use all the strength I have. So if I don't use all the strength, the fight's over. So. Don't use strength except here. <laughs> do you use dead weight? Do you drop your body with that? Or are you a, just trying a little to use bit, your... but the dead weight part is the second part of this. Okay. Because um, there are two things that activate it. One is the pulling up. Well, two the two main things: the pulling up and the arcing in arching in of the hips. So if I'm here, this also just pads my throat a bit. I take my other hand and pull here. This prevents, to some extent, your ability to arch. So arch, no, pull in here. What I can do here is I can do a couple of different things to get out of here. Either he gets bored and lets go, which is great. <laughs> nope, not me, baby. Perhaps I can strike the knee, the, strike the groin with the knee, uh, or start hitting his knee with my knee. But of course, this just opens up the same possibility of him doing the same to me. The other thing, if you're getting lazy on the arch, right? We've been here. You've been pulling. You've been pulling. You've been pulling. Link your hands, please, Andrew. Can you can see that? Yep. So we're here, you've been arching, I've been stalling, been hanging, looking up. Now you get bored a little bit. Your head starts coming down. If I can come over your head with this arm, mm. if I see that opportunity, now we kind of have each other in a double headlock. Okay. This totally nullifies it. And I'm gonna try my best to take you down by taking a half step back and pulling you down this way. Because of the way the bodies are configured, it's a stronger position biomechanically to be the guy countering if I can lift your head. So if I've got you here and I'm arching, you're protecting here, you're going over the shoulder, you're hanging, you're pulling, we're getting bored, 
my head comes down is you switch here and you link. I'm bigger than you, but if you take a half step back and spin, I'm the one who's going down. Right. Right. So, yeah. number one, don't get caught in it. Number two, if you feel it coming, look to the sky, mm -hmm. turn the corner. Number three, grab over the shoulder and prayer at that point is also very efficacious. <laughs> prayer is always a good idea. Excellent. Um, I think that's a perfect summary. I love every part of that. Um, it's interesting how the attack mirrors the defense in many ways. If for me to get a good attack, I need to arch. For you to defend very well, you need to arch. So yes. it's kind of who, if you want to get the choke, you have to loop my head. If I want to defend, I can also loop your head. So it's kind of who does this, the right thing first. <laughs> exactly. So I, I enjoy the, putting these two together because it's the right way to do the guillotine. It's also the right way to defend the guillotine. So it's nice to remember. Well, the analogy, if you're punching me and I'm punching you, you whoever win. does the right thing, whoever does the right thing first right. wins. Right, right. If you, if you plant the, exactly, timing is everything. <laughs> right. If you plant that in my nose yeah. when I'm here, you win. Same through the guillotine. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you very much, Mr. Kesting. Not surprising you get quality information from this man. Please, if you're not following his channels, do so. Not just on YouTube, but on Instagram, Facebook. He's everywhere. He makes that easy. So please do that. Uh, thank you again. Until next time, uh, stay on your feet, my friends, and keep fighting for a happy life. Look at me one time, so he's going to come through. It's rolling. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to look at you go, ha! Boom! <laughs> okay? Okay. And you stay on me. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, sorry, Actually, sorry. did chip a tooth. <laughs> yeah. See how these things go? Wow. I hope that was on tape. Put that on Instagram, because <laughs> that's real, real life right there.